Hello, it's Ryan Michael Leahy. Um, this is talking in regards to my father, Ryan Michael Barry, the Irish inventor um, of RyanBarryCreations.com. Works with very different, various different companies. He's invented the hook wrist. Um, involved with the voice television show, obviously, and just putting this video. Um, just some regards to the emails I've received from him. And um, saying, I crossed the line anyway. Firstly, I've never crossed the line. It's him, my parents, and his partner that have kind of crossed the line. Not me. Um, basically, I don't think it's good enough. I think so, just get on with your lives. Get on with your lives. Maybe we'll get your brown brother. And he just says, oh, he's got a full team. When all air wants a bit of dignity, a bit of respect, and whatever else, you know, and the same goes for myself, and the same goes for my other brother. Um, but he seems to think, oh, just get on with your lives, and basically, he, he will basically say, oh, nothing got to do with me after this or whatever, but he's not got to do with me anyway. Um, which doesn't really bother me that much now anymore because you know what, I do have people that like me, I'm a well liked person. I'm a strong person, I do physio, I go to the gym 3-4 hours a day to keep myself mobile. Um, which I really need. Um, as I say, even look at my trainer there now. That's gone, they're ripped. When I have them two weeks, I have to replace them now tomorrow, that's more money. Um, which is just a regular occurrence, but if you, you were to tra change your trainers or runners or shoes fortnightly, it is a big, it's, it's an expense. This is a big expense. Um, if you add up all the years, um, but basically, I'm just going back. I'm not checking my email anymore. Um, I've just been advised by my solicitor to wait for to see what happens. Um, because I am not the one that's with the harasser. And uh, I'm the one that want to play games or whatever, but you know what? I'm not my own father. And it wasn't my job to look after my brothers and whatever. And you know what? It's not my mum's fault either. She was left on her own the day before my sister's communion. And he went off to England, sold whatever, left her in debt. She was in serious debt. He bought stuff for the, the TSB, sold them to other people, and left my mother with the debt. Um, she was left on her own with four children um, which wasn't good enough too she only found out two of us at soccer palsy um, had to go to I had to, had to attend physio various times a week in the centre we had to send doctors occupational therapists we had to get she had to do physio on us nightly and in the morning um, basically my grandmother helped with that um, my grandmother helped my mother out a lot helped me out a lot um, and you know, I never, I never wanted it to come to anything like this. I really didn't. Um, but I was pushed to it. I don't care what to say. I was pushed to it. At the end of the day, whatever my dad's partner thinks. Or you, you've been with him for how long, and you've lived with him, and but at the end of the day, he's my blood, and he's still our father, and that should be respected. Um, by both sides. Because I respected her, I respected my sister, I still do, and um, it's not slander in any way, shape or form, because basically look, what my dad has done when he's come to Cork over the years, that's harassment, and believe me, it is harassment, they went to debt that my mother was left, and they go on about that, oh he paid maintenance, he paid, I think it was a hundred euro a week for three boys, with two that were disabled, and after change my one of those far nightly like myself, Special needs, wheelchairs, physio, etc. I could go on all day. Taxis every morning, taxis every evening, which adds up to be a very substantial amount of money to be spent. And um, in regards to what my mother received as money, she got a pittance. Um, that's another quite, that's another thing. She had to do everything. We had to go to Dublin every month. We had to get operations. We had to be assessed. They had to look at our legs. They had to look at our joints. They had to look how our legs were actually growing. Um, in respect to that, we went through a lot physically, and um, but overall, basically, what happened to the courts that my father had me involved or whatever else and whatever happened on the other side, that had a very detrimental effect on myself, um, psychologically, and um, basically with him coming in, dealing with my mother, basically blame my mother for everything, 
Um, at the end of the day, if we had the situation, if we had a kids, which my mum held up her end in looking after the kids. As I said, my mum's not perfect, no one is perfect, but you know what, if it wasn't for her, my wheelchair bound brother, who would have no one, I wouldn't be able to look after him the way she does. She gives him his breakfast, she gives him his lunch, she gives him his dinner, she changes his bed, she cleans his clothes, she cleans his bedroom, she does everything to help him, to keep him happy, as my little brother does, as I do. Um, and that's the amount of work that my mother puts in for her pittance with money. She is basically on 24 hours a day, seven days a week for that man. He's a man now, he's 26 years of age. And for my brother, or whatever, and Josh, he's there for myself as well. Uh, look, bed sheets, cleaning my clothes, which she doesn't have to do as a 26 year old man, but she still does it anyway. Even if we have an argument, she's still there, she still does it. Food obviously, the house obviously is food, the house is spotless. Um, and as I say, she's there. No matter what arguments I ever had with her, or what my father has to say to throw back in my face in regards to my mother, he can say whatever he wants, but she's actually still here. She's still there for him. She'll always be there for me. She'll always be there for my other brother. But at the end of the day, it wasn't up to me to take up his part. And I don't blame my mum in any way, shape or form because my mum had no one. My mum needed someone because you know what? She was left alone. But no, she actually can enjoy her life as well. But she's got a grandchild and she has her dogs. And um, she doesn't let any of her hold her back anymore with me. I don't think it's good enough on his part. Um, I know he moved on with his life, big deal, you live up in Dublin, you have life, but at the end of the day, we're still here. And uh, Aaron has needs, I, I have needs, whatever, and I shouldn't have been put up to me to do everything for you. You do your job, okay? No matter what you say, you can't blame my mother. If you wanted to do what you had to do, you could have been involved, you could have done, you could have not have a more trying to get rid of the maintenance. But she only got maintenance basically from the age of 14. So that was 11 years she got nothing. Um, it was basically a fight. From the age of 14 up to the age of 20 she received maintenance I think. Um, six years but she could have, should have received it longer because me and Aaron are still disabled. So she could have received it up to the age of 25. But basically a year or so it was war. I mean, I to send warrant upon warrant upon warrant even to get him to pay the pittance of maintenance because she was struggling. Three grown boys, we had to change clothes, change everything. Um, we went to playstations, we wanted phones, we wanted toys, bikes. There wasn't one Christmas that my father gave us a present or sent a present. And uh, maybe one or two he gave us money, but that was a struggle to even get that out of him. Like you can even tell he didn't want to do it willingly. Didn't want to share anything with us. Holidays, she brought us to Spain, she brought us to Lanzarote, and that was basically out of her money. That was basically for herself. She paid for everything. We went to Florida. Um, my father, what he was involved, we went to Butlins, but that was his mother and she paid for that. Um, basically, when we had to get splints, it wasn't fully paid by the government. It was partially. My mother partially had to pay. She had to pay for all the money for going to Dublin for when I was getting my Botox done on my legs, when I was getting tendons cut. That wasn't covered by the government as in travel wise, what she had to pay while she was there. We spent two birthdays in hospital. Which my other brother James was affected because James was always with us. So James had to be with us. And uh, he didn't get the attention he, he deserved. He needed a father too. And John, I'm bringing this back. Um, I'm waiting on guards to come to my door. I don't really care if they come because it's not a harassment. I can really go into more detail and I can start contacting companies that work with my father because my father sends the emails like that at the end of the day. He doesn't want to sort it out as a person, he just cares about his business. His business, his business, his business, his business, what he works as, what he does, um, not real life. And I say as much as I want that um, my grandfather, their father, um, was a great man. He was a painter, he was a modest man, he was a regular man, he just cared about his family and he was there for my father through tick and tin. And it was a lot of tick. Believe me, a lot of tick with that man. And look, you might say it's in the past. You might say he's not the same person he was, but he's not. He's done a lot of good, he's changed his life, and you know what? People admire him for that, and I do, but at the end of the day, the thing is that we've only seen the other side. 
we haven't seen all I've ever heard from him is talk and words and words which on the ground that was there for me he collected me from secretary school there for my brothers he gave us information as well my father just came down and whatever he got a cash on us he cut us out of our lives as his partner cut us out of our lives we haven't even seen his house in 10 years we haven't been in this house in 10 years in Dubai not even invited our birthday drops on the same date as my grandfather as my buried father so basically it's not that hard it's not that easy for him to forget um, and it's not even about even receiving a birthday card with money or receiving a big present it's basically about receiving a birthday card basically acknowledging your birthday um, I hope you're okay things like that which he never done um, it hurts like and it hurts my brother it doesn't hurt as much as it did um, but I'm just going back to the fact look when my mum was down she had no one she had to turn to me and you know what I don't blame her when I was down I had no one I had to turn to my nan and she was always there my grandmother and I don't care what anybody else is not I'm not slandering not doing anything wrong she's a brilliant person and, she, and you know what I admire her for everything she's done and you know what if the, I, at the end of the day my father was her son I admit that I, I, but at the end of the day I'm her grandson and I'm as close to the son as she ever has and I've respected her far more and so I haven't done the things in my adolescence and my young years that my father done and you know what he can say it's in the past and they all can say it's in the past but it's, he's still done it he still had the mindset to do things in the past and I'm not going to explain what they are because he knows what they are um, but at the end of the day I haven't done those things I've been there for his mother teenage years through my 20s same my mother same my brothers um i don't ask for a medal but he tries to look for a medal and they all try to look for a medal because he's changed his life but you know what they won't blame my mother anymore because you know what I don't, i'd like to see his partner raise four children on her own i'd like to see him raise four children on his own two disabled i'd like to see him do it 20 odd years of what physical pain i had a breakdown then on top of it because of him because of his shit all through my childhood and um do you know what if one for my mother I'd be dead I'd be dead and you know what he wasn't any involvement seeing if it was okay so do you know what um, I'm going to see what happens see what comes my way in regards to my father I will not be checking my emails I'm waiting on a letter because I don't care if I get one off a solicitor I'll be recording all this and if the gas comes to my door as well and um, if my father wants to go down that route I'll go deep and believe me I'll go deep into my father's past not that I want to and he knows I really don't want to but I'm forced to do this um, so I'm just going to see how it is and uh, in regards to people that are watching um, if I get comments again if I get anything from uh, a YouTube page I'll take that as slander I'll take that as harassment I'll take all the details from that YouTube page I'll give them to the Gardaí or even myself if I find any way she or form how to find out who that person is because um, I will not be taking those um, threats again um, as you haven't walked in my life you haven't lived my life so you don't get to comment on my life um, so I'll be watching all that, I'll be watching out for all that um, because I will be taking that as harassment and I will be using that and I will find out who the person is um, so as I say, if you don't have anything good to say, stay out of my business you've nothing to do with my life and I'm not afraid physically, by law, anything, I'm not afraid because I'm not in the wrong um, I'm only doing what I think is right, what I know is right and all I have done in my life is try and do right um so this has been Roy McLee. Please subscribe, please share and basically send my father emails ryberry.com or Ryberry Dayush Inventor. Um or meet Morgie and ask him why would you actually not not care about disabled young men's special needs and pretend they don't exist and leave it all up to one young man and um, when it wasn't his job. This has been Roy McLee, thank you very much. Share, subscribe, thank you.